All right, problem number six, a car. Police lieutenants examined the scene of an accident where a vehicle came nearly to a stop before colliding with another. The skid marks left by the vehicle were 80 meters long. And the coefficient of friction between the tires and the road is 0 .8, 0 0.8. What is the original speed of the vehicle? Assume a level road. Well, the level road is gonna help us out because I'm gonna tell you right now. Mu is 0 0.8 and that's equal to friction force over normal force. Well, the normal force is equal to mg when it's a level road. So normal force equals mg, beautiful thing. Now we don't know the mass of the car, so some of you are already thinking, yeah, yeah, great, mg, but we don't know the mass of the car. I'm gonna show you a little cool trick. Right here, friction is mu times normal, and friction is equal to the mass of the car times the acceleration due to friction, the deceleration due to friction. So friction is equal to, friction is still a force, and force equals ma, well it's mass of the car times the acceleration due to friction. And that should be equal to mu times mass of the car times g. mg is the normal force, right? Equal to the normal force because it's a flat surface. So, since those are equal, we can take friction force is equal to the mass of the car times acceleration due to friction, which is equal to mu mg, mass of the car cancels on both sides. So then the acceleration due to friction is equal to mu times g. Well, <coughs> excuse me, since the car skids 80 meters and the coefficient of friction between the car and the road, the tires and the road is 0 0.8, we can use this equation saying v final squared is zero minus v initial squared is equal to two acceleration due to friction times d. Plug in those numbers, square and do what you gotta do. Bingo, bingo, bongo.